Hi, I'm Angie Brooks Biarcangeli. I'm an artist here in my painting atelier in the French Riviera. And I am going to show you in this video how I learned by myself to make its professional quality wooden crates to ship my paintings in. And I decided to make this video for singular art as a sign of gratitude so that the artists who work with them can also learn how simple and easy this is. This crate here that I made costs about 30 euro. So um, I'll show you. It's within the 10 centimeter. It's actually nine centimeters. It's, it's very solid, but it's also lightweight. You can see. It's actually, this one is 16 kilos. Okay. I hope you enjoy it. All right, these are the materials you'll need. You need short screws and long screws, the plank, wooden panel. I use MDF. You can see this is what they have in France. Styrofoam, your bits, a screwdriver, electric screwdriver. These are the corners, a hammer. Let's hope you have a hammer. And these are longer screws. These screw one plank into the next to strengthen your wooden frame. Nails. A saw to cut your planks. Plastic wrap and bubble wrap. A cutter. The first thing I do is I cover my painting with plastic wrap and then I pad it with either bubble wrap or this thin styrofoam. My painting is now packaged. I put it on the floor and I get these planks that are seven and a half centimeters wide. My painting is on the floor. I put the planks around it and I measure by eye the size that I will need. I usually do the long sides first and they're both the same size. And then I come in with the small sides, the short sides, and I cut those. Now, now I have my frame made of planks, and now I'm going to put it together. I put each corner together with these little metal angles. It's kind of tricky. I've learned to put my drill on the floor, flat on the floor, that makes it easier to drill in these wood, these metal corners. And then I have a longer screw, see this longer screw, it's going to go through both planks and that strengthens the wooden frame. You go around, put all the corners together of your plank frame. What's good about these planks, they are 7.5 centimeters and that gives you two and a half centimeters leeway to stay under the 10 centimeter limit. Okay, the 10 centimeter limit, it's important to stay under this because otherwise the price for shipping goes up dramatically. I use a pillow to put my knees on when I'm on the floor. Now I've got my frame put together. Take your painting away, put the paneling down and don't fall. Oops, okay, don't fall like I did. You have to be careful, no need to rush. I use a piece of paneling to um, cut with. It just makes it quick and easy and you get a straight cut. Then you drill your plank, the paneling to the plank frame and this will create a box. So if your plank frame is weak, the Screwing the paneling to it will create a box and it will be automatically strong. Now I've got to put in another piece here. This video, in this video, I had done several shipments, so you'll see I've got actually different boxes. There we go. Now I'm ready to cut again to get my 
piece. Actually, I didn't show how many times I have to cut it with a cutter. It takes a lot, a lot of times. And you gotta be careful. You don't wanna cut your fingers. All right, here we go. Now we'll screw that on. And I basically have made the first side of my box. What's great now, let's see. We're gonna turn this over and see, I've got one side of my crate ready. I'm filling in the, with tape. See, this is a second crate that I was using. This is for a bigger painting. Now I put in the styrofoam and I'm gonna tape that down tape it together so I get a nice flat surface that I can lay the front side of my painting on without any dangers. This is a different crate. I had to put two paintings in it and I put bubble wrap instead because I didn't have enough space for styrofoam. These are two paintings that are face to face. I'm not worried about the surfaces getting damaged. Now. I use styrofoam that I cut and pad in the sides so that my painting is not touching the frame. And here I am putting in my special note with a special publication and the authenticity certificate and the client invoice I'm putting it in. And I've come to start gift wrapping my paintings. Once you've got your painting in, you add the rest of the padding on the back so that the painting isn't moving, you're gonna nail it together or screw it together. And in this case, I had a little bit of uh, a hole there, but because it's the back of the painting, I wasn't worried, I just put duct tape on it. Once my crate is all put together, whether screwed or nailed together, I go around and I tape all of the edges. This makes it smoother and the nails then don't catch on anything in the shipment. I tape, I go on both sides. Now look, your client will be so happy to have this professional made crate. It means you've taken care to be professional and you know that your painting is gonna go and be safe. And if you consider that this crate here cost me about 35 euro for a really big painting that's over one meter. This one here, 35 euro. Each plank is about five euro and the wooden paneling is five, six euro. Then the styrofoam panels are two euro each. Then you've got your tape and your nails. So I invested in the drill and the bits and this special tape dispenser. It makes my packaging very smooth and fast. I can get a crate, a professionally made crate done in about two hours. And often now what I'm doing, I am decorating the crates with spray paint. I'm tagging it, writing big hearts saying thank you. Can you imagine the experience for the buyer when they get these crates, how happy that they will be. And I print out my mailing label and I use this glue, repositionable glue you spray on and it makes it a very professional looking crate here. There we go. In this next right here, this is a what you would use to ship uh, to a country that needs a customs uh, certificate. Once I've got my crate ready, then the first thing I do is I weigh it to get the weight and then I measure it and see it's in the within the 10 centimeter limit 